Small Children, Chapter 6, Control Structure, Part 3. In Part 3, we are going to see, discuss about the hydration or looping constructs. What is hydration or looping? That is step by step procedure. Here, we are going to see the two types of looping structure. First, the looping is constant, that is true or false. The Boolean expressions are going to introduce here in looping constant. So the first thing the hydrations are looping are used in situations when the user need to execute a block of code server types. Until calls are written up by the conditioner, satisfy money, use money. The looping multiple types, the group of statements will execute the multiple times execute so hydration or looping now open the flow chart power first the condition circle condition is true the condition true statement one or two on the other one execute suppose on the condition false are automatically else in the popular the hydration or looping constant one execute i okay to the unless or rather so second thing in python provides two types of looping construct either the two marks question and as well as one marks questions so python provides all many types of looping constructs two that is while loop and far loop so first we will see on while loop what is while it is the conditions is any valid boolean expressions Returning to our path. Boolean of the trend in the condition now. True or no, we are not false. If the true are in the inaugural true condition under the execute for no false are in the chair plana, else particular condition on the execute for. So apply the wild look over condition. So see that we move on to the second point. The else part of void is optional part. You know, we are wild condition true or no, you know, can I output execute right now. Suppose the files are the in the world, else part. So that's why they are saying as optional part of why. The statement block one is kept executed till the condition is true. Do our execute of statement block one. Suppose if the else part is written, it is executed when the condition is just a false. Other while condition on the false side, so in the automatic in the world, else part. So they call the while loop belongs to entry check loop type. So another type of while loop is called entry check loop. So this is also one marks question. And that is not an executed event once if the condition is tested false in the beginning. Suppose condition first the only false side of the automatic number and the output of the number executed R. So see we have the syntax of while that is while condition statement block one if the condition is true they will execute this statement block one suppose it is false they move on to the else part even the else part is also false the output of the segment is not be displayed so see the flow chart of while loop that is starting position of inner circle and it move on to conditions the condition is while condition suppose the while statement is expression of statement is true they will execute the conditional code suppose it is false they directly come on onto stop position that is else part positions so now while loop exam here they are using the to print all numbers that is why all numbers the numbers are available so they declare as i equal to 10 why i greater than or equal to 15 greater than or equal to 15 okay greater than or equal to 15 greater than or equal to 52 suppose and the button of equal to the pin automatic and think you will stop by around 14 or another stop by so the print i comma end that is end equal to slash then slash into the tab slash tab and then the number of numbers print other than the number of numbers space at the end of the other slash tier being the print so i equal to i plus that is increment operator so first question what is the condition i equal to 10 so the first they will enter as 10 the output then they will check the condition i greater than or equal to 15 that is 10 greater than or equal to 15 2 slash t i equal to i plus 1 already i would value 10 so 10 plus with 11 so they printed as 11 again they move on to conditions i plus 1 that is 11 11 plus 1 12 so 12 13 14 up in the machine i have to be and you use a 15 return to we'll see the second loop of that is called far so what is the far it is also an 
called as entry check flow that is the most comfortable flow easy to interact with the user of the program so that's another name of this is the body of the loop is executed the block one so otherwise this loop is not be executed so once again remember that the for loop is also called as entry check loop okay so it is the most comfortable loop for the user programming when the condition is checked the beginning on the body of the loop will be executed only the true statement is exactly so that is called for loop so you see the for loop syntax that is for counter variable in sequence statements block 1 is already we learned about the for loop syntax in the instead of c++ but the here the syntax is different why because here in python they given as range values of for loop only for for loop they given as range values that is the three steps that is initial final and increment so this is the one two marks question as well as the three marks question the question will be asked like that means the for write the for loop uses the range functions in sequence i mean you know you know it has the three sequence in for loop specifications that is initial final and increment values that is called range so generally a list of values started from step of start till the stop of minus 1 okay so we will see the syntax of range because the for loop is related to range values so only we are giving as range so range start stop and step that is the start is the initial value stop is the increment and step is the increment values of optional part so stop is the range edhula nam edhukku vein endradhu solradhu step vanna enna pathina and the increment endradhu adha nam the initial value condition endradhu paduthirukom pathina adha the stop ta enna appo pathina condition the step endradhu increment operator idhu la formula ku python la maathi kuduthirukanga endradhu so initial value condition increment or decrement and for loop syntax ka indha python la range endra particular pannadala start stop step the start equal to initial value stop equal to final value that is the condition value step is the increment so now we go on to the example of for loop see the first range 1 comma 30 comma 1 so 1 is the start 30 is the stop 1 is the step so start pandra value 1 end pandra value 30 ஓகேங்களா அந்த ஸ்டாப் வேல்யூ வந்து 30 ஸ்டெப் வந்து 1 அப்ப எப்படி ஒரு இன்கிரிமெண்ட் ஆகும்னு வந்து 1 ஆமா தான் நமக்கு இன்கிரிமெண்ட் ஆகும் அப்ப எந்த ஒரு நமக்கு ஸ்டாப் ஆயிடுறோம் சொல்லிட்டாங்க 29 வரை நமக்கு இன்கிரிமெண்ட் ஆகும் 1 வரை நமக்கு இன்கிரிமெண்ட் பண்ணும் சோ ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா முன்னாடி நம்பர் ஒரு நமக்கு ஸ்டாப் ஆகும் எண்ட் வேல்யூ வந்து बिफोर நம்பர் ஒரு நமக்கு ஸ்டாப் ஆகும் சோ தட் இஸ் 29 சோ செகண்ட் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பாருங்க ரேஞ்ச் 2,30,2 சோ ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் फ्रॉम 2 ஸ்டெப் வேல்யூ என்னன்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா 30 Uh, sorry stop value vandha enna 30 step value 2 appo namak adu eppadi move aagum namak automatically 2 to 1 namak cool and start aagum 2 to 1 increment aagum appo step step value vandha namak edho oru mudhu stop 30 ku munadi two values before na 28 oru namak mudichu like that the third example paarthaa range of 30 comma 3 comma minus 3 so 30 comma 3 comma minus 3 appo namak 30 start pannu okay na end value enna kodutanga avanga Minus three or three three or something increment or minus three or decrement or whatever. After that we move on to decrement or six. Okay. So fourth example for the range of twenty and the range of twenty into the number of it. Now we are going to one value now. So one value now we are going to add to the number of it. Now we are going to add to the number of it. So n value of it. So the range of the number of it. So the range of the number of it. So the ஒருவேன்ஸ்ட்ரீன்ஸ்ட்ரீன்ஸ்ட்ரீன்ஸ்ட்ரீன்ஸ்ட்ரீன்ஸ்ட்ரீன்ஸ்ட்ரீன்
the loop placed with it another loop is called nested loop structure or one loop la another group la we create pannadha enna appdi paathina nested loop structure so if the nested loop structure la enga la edha the loop la edha the loop la use pannalam appdi paathina we have the four concept in python to use the nested loop structure that is void within the another void for within another for for within void and void within for to construct each nested loop so idu eppadi use pannalam abindradha oru chinna or example nu kanga namma paakalam adhe oru condition la so that is the for is an example to illustrate the use of for loop to print the following pattern so what is the pattern they given here 1 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 so, so now we going to see the example of nested loop structure so see here the program to illustrate the use nested loop for within while loop so while loop ku nam enna use panna porom appadi pathina for loop condition nam use panna porom so first i will value 1 nu nam declare panna porom automatically output la 1 nu print aayiruchu second i value i greater than or equal to 6 so i greater than or equal to 6 nam declare pannadunala automatically nam enna aayiruchu appadi pathina 6 oda adu stop aagum adukku nam namakku pogum so i range so i equal to row and j is the column of the given program so for j in range 1 comma i again i your value increment aacha enna varu appadi nu solla so print j end slash t so j nu print pandradhu nu enna varuma ipdiye oru oru number kudai oru oru column ku namakku namakku oru arbitrary gap varum so that is called slash t new tab so print end equal to slash end that is called the new line of the program so i plus equal to 1 i your value increment aacha first one nu print aagum i or value i plus 1 and print out of 1 plus 1 2 so again they will move on to condition while loop 2 greater than or equal to 6 true so enna nadu 1 2 print out again loop ka check pannu 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 5 so 5 greater than or equal to 6 true da namakku 5 irukku vandruchu again 6 pora pa 6 greater than or equal to 6 i or value 6 irukku appo plus 1 nu varu automatically enna 7 vandru so 7 greater than or equal to 6 false so here they stop till 5 okay so the chapter part 3 is over in control structure chapters what are the <coughs> topics we are learned in part 3 for loop while loop and nested looping structure these are the important two marks question three marks question as well as five marks questions so thank you